first year I shot nine. Too long, I was shooting 35 weddings a year, then 50. And then for quite a few years, um, now I've been shooting 70 to 80 weddings a year. And just over half the couples will have a photo film. I won a, a wedding photographer of the year for London, the Southeast. That award was the one that started a phenomena that I'd not otherwise experienced before, which is where people would book me without having to come and see me. I've been shooting weddings for nearly 12 years. Steve was my best man. Steve said, look, you, you take pictures. I had a studio at the time, um, but he was quite persuasive. And, um, and in the end, I said yes. Photographed another couple for friends and then went straight into charging. I phoned people up. I said, look, when you do your, your, your portraits, what side does the groom stand on? I asked very ABC questions. I felt like a visitor in wedding photography for quite a while because I was thinking, well, there's these guys that have been doing it for years. They're so much better than me. But I did go to churches. I did go to venues. I did put cards on solicitor and notice boards. I advertised in places where I thought there's going to be young couples here that are getting married or might know somebody getting married and I just need to put this notice in front of them. And that's what I did. And that's the way I went from 20 to 80. I think it's about reading a wedding and that's what I've learned to do over these 12 years. I've learned to read a wedding, to read what might happen next. Um, you'll be watching the bride and groom, of course you will, because they're the most important people in, in, in your world. But actually, what they've also employed you to do is, is, is watch what's going on past them. Uh, oh, Mum and Dad might be squeezing each other's hand a little bit closer. You're shooting through the hands because you're seeing the reaction of the children be behind them. That's, that's what I mean by reading. That's reading a wedding. I'm a very keen advocate of not approaching marketing in a purely digital fashion. If you've put all your eggs in this one internet basket, you've not pressed the flesh and, and gone to meet uh, wedding agents, wedding venues, put postcards in churches as manual things, then you're gonna have a fairly two-dimensional marketing business. Um, I heard a phrase recently, and I've, um, I've hijacked it. Different is better than being better.